Is your input seal leaking? I sure hope not. But if it is, take a look at this. We'll show you how to fix it. Man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times a hard in Mississippi. All right, guys, today we had a Pro Star come in and the front chunk or axle was leaking pretty bad, as you can see. And we diagnosed the problem to be the pinion seal. So the first thing we gotta do, we gotta get this U-joint out of here and get the uh, yoke nut off. And that way we can get in there to the pinion seal and replace it. I'm gonna show you guys what you gotta have and we're gonna get started. All right, guys. Bill's gonna talk to you about what all you gotta have and what we gotta do to get this seal replaced. All right, we're replacing the pinion seal. Uh, just gonna pull the U-joint out first. Got a half inch socket on a half inch impact. And then we'll be able to uh, see exactly what size we're going, what size socket we're gonna need to get the yoke nut off. Pull the yoke off to replace the seal. All right, let's go get dirty. I know you're not supposed to use chrome sockets on an impact, but that's all we had. Nobody else had one in stock. Sometimes you have to make do. Can't believe it. Damn Panther pee. 
Tell me that stuff don't work. Boys, y'all saying that she used a one inch impact, no good. Three quarter inch impact, no good. Panther P did the trick. Wrong seal, fellas. All right, we got a new seal back, finally. I'm gonna take my casket scraper, scrape some of this glue off of here. Spraying brake cleaner on the rag. Don't want to spray it in there and break down any oil. Of course, a lot of people say, well, that won't hurt nothing, but my luck, it would. Well, don't knock any dirt into the hole. Nobody likes a dirty hole. That's right. All right, we don't have a seal driver to fit this actual seal. It's what I did with I found an old bearing race for a wheel bearing. Fits around the seal just right. I don't want to take my hammer and hit directly on the seal and end up messing the seal up. Home. The people with you scraping off there? Man, well, somebody has put silicone around this seal to fix it. Sil Imagine that. Silicone seal, how about that? And guess what? As you can see down here, we didn't fix the problem. We didn't fix it. Ain't no quick fixes on huh? Not on something like this. All right, folks, we're going back in with a yoke. washer don't have a whole lot of dirt build up on it. Of course, it's not going to get in there anyway. But, and, this looks better now. Yep. Before you put your nut back on, uh, I'm going to get some uh, red Loctite and put on the threads on it to make sure it doesn't back off. Let me go grab the phone and the Loctite. Be right back. All right, we got the red Loctite on there. Gonna put the old nut back on. Make sure your gun is going in the right direction before you try to start tightening it back down. Hammer down on it. All 
always want to check, make sure you don't have any play in your bearing. So that one's good. Stick it one in. Get it right there. Yeah. Sorry about the shakiness, guys. Them drive shafts are heavy, 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 and more heavy. They don't call it a Jesus pole for nothing. Make you scream, oh Jesus. Alright guys, Bill's gonna put that last bolt in and uh, then we'll check the rear end fluid and make sure everything's good. But that's how you replace a pinion seal. This is in an International Pro Star, which all of them is pretty similar. But that's how you do it guys, like always. If you like my videos, hit that thumbs up button subscribe down here below you guys have a great week we'll catch you next time